Hey guys, Chris here, and uh, it is currently 1 a.m. on Friday. Uh, I'm tired, and my green tea reserves are running low. So, let's talk about polyploidy. <laughs> because we can, and someone on Piazza asked about it. But first, let me give, me sh give a shout out to my Bio 124 class. Hip hooray! Anyway, so the question was, uh, what is polyploidy and uh, associated ploides? Simply put, it's a condition where a mutant individual has three or more sets of chromosomes. So normally speaking, um, an organism that we studied so far would usually have either one or two sets of chromosomes. And in the case of polyploidy, you would have three or more. And this is seen uh, in plants, not in animals. And for reasons we'll get into soon. So what causes polyploidy? Well, it's caused by both auto and or uh, allo polyploidy, which are both mechanisms that cause an organism to become a polyploid. So, uh, let's get into auto, auto polyploidy. I'm getting tired of saying that. Um, it means same any form, and basically all the chromosomes within an individual came from the same species. Um, the end result, or the organism, the offspring, as we say, um, has an uneven number of chromosomes due to mutation, uh, which makes them sterile and for reasons we will get into pretty soon. Um, so let's go into examples where, uh, well, I got the thought of two. Um, one would be where two sperm would be fertilizing one egg at the same time, and the other one would be disjunction during cell division to be amply followed by fertilization of normal haplogamy. So in the example of <laughs> aptly name a two sperm, one egg, um, basically in, when you think of normal fertilization, you have one sperm fertilizing one egg, right? So that would result in a diploid um, zygote. However, in this case, you have three, three sets of chromosomes, one coming from the egg and two coming from the sperm, resulting in a triploid, which is your example of auto polyploidy. Let's go back to our exam, to the second example, disjunction. So in a normal diploid cell, when it's trying to replicate, uh, it would duplicate its chromosomes and then, you know, separate it. However, an error goes in meios meiosis, which can be due to a variety, a variety of factors, and this is called non-disjunction, where it fails to separate the duplicated chromosomes and creates one cell with the double number of chromosomes. Now, the resulting tetraploid uh, becomes a parent cell and undergoes normal meiosis to create two, I'll label them as mutant, um, diploid gametes. Now, somewhere along the road, a haploid gamete will hook up with mutant, and before he realizes what he's gotten himself into, they create a triploid um, offspring. You know, an offspring with these sets of chromosomes. And unfortunately for the offspring, when he decides to undergo a uh, meiosis to create sex cells for um, reproduction, it's just not going to work out because he has an uneven number of chromosomes and it's, he's chromosomally imbalance is just not going to work out. Sorry. Now, enough of the auto polyploid stuff. Let's head right into the allo things. Um, it translates into a different mini form, and if you think about it, the process itself is actually quite similar to auto, but the main thing is that the offspring's chromosomes actually come from two different species, which of course entails interbreeding. Um, the offspring are usually fertile, and this occurs a lot in plants. Now let's head straight to an example here where you have species A and say species B, both um, are parent cells and they are both diploid. What's going to happen is that they're going to undergo normal meiosis and uh, they will both produce haploid gametes. Now these gametes are going to go meet together and fertilize and create a pseudozygote. And I say pseudo because um, the chromosomes are not homologous. and since they're not homologous, they can't undergo any other, you know, cell processes. So, in order to make that possible, they have to duplicate their chromosome sets, and that duplicate, that self-duplication, um, is what makes them an allopolypoid. Now, with this new set of chromosomes, the offspring can now undergo meiosis and create more offspring, and that's um, possible because it has an even number of set of chromosomes, which it can evenly distribute um, among each gamete. Unlike the autopolypoids, which, you know, as you saw earlier, um, was uneven. Alright, now just, just to sum things up for autopolypoids, you have to remember that it happens within the same species. And also keep an eye out for the word triploid, because that's usually the main indicator 
that this is most likely an autopolyploid. Of course, that's referring to the offspring. And also remember that the uneven number of chromosomes is what prevents the offspring from further reproducing. Um, as for autopolyploids, you have to remember that it's occurring between two different species. Um, you are always looking for an even number of chromosomes because that allows the offspring to, you know, to continue um, meiosis and to continue creating more offspring. Now, as a side note, in reference to um, the offspring, keep an eye out for the word tetraploid and hexaploid, which refers to, you know, the number of sets of even number of chromosomes. Um, but yeah. Anyway, this is Chris. I am very tired. And that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, took away, took something from the video. And, you know, I, I could be wrong at some points. You know, I, I'm a student. I'm not a professor uh, after all. But that's what uh, we're all here for, right? Criticism. <laughs> uh, constructive criticism, that is. Well, anyway, um, I, I don't know how this is going to work out. Uh, if you guys really like this kind of thing, I might do more in the future if it comes under you know what every request or whatever this does take up a lot of my man hours but um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video and that you learn something from it and uh to uh the anonymous who posted up the question on piazza i hope this answers your question and uh yeah i'm gonna go to bed now good night all